Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. Guys, yes, I'm coming to you live from my car. I had the day off today because I literally needed sleep. I think I slept about 13 hours. I've been going nonstop for a very long time, but crypto never stops. Ripple and XRP having some major victories against the SEC. Obviously, the judge is not putting up with any more of their BS which is, I mean, the SEC's BS, which is incredibly bullish for Ripple. Obviously, we've got updates in relation to Coinbase partnering up with Google, which is incredibly bullish for, you know, all of crypto. Obviously, you've got Binance updates with Elon Musk. Charles Hoskinson is gone basically on a 15-minute rant today, and I did watch that whole interview, uh, you know, basically him having a go at the XRP army, which, you know, he should have seen coming because we're all a pack of wild lions. That's basically what we are, XRP uh, supporters. Anyway, I'm going to go through everything, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Let's get straight into it, ladies and gentlemen. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. We are just getting started. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find, ladies and gentlemen, do that. So give it a good old thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free and it's down there. Thank you very much. You guys rock. Also, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye, especially in crypto. So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only all right ladies and gentlemen the formalities are out of the way let's go straight to the community tab and have a look here guys obviously we've got bny mallon and they i believe that is 43 trillion dollars which is just ridiculous to offer bitcoin services to wealthy clients now obviously guys i don't know about you but wealthy clients will, will eventually have access to bitcoin services doesn't that make you bullish in general, considering we're before institutions and wealthy clients? I think it does. Now, obviously, you've got my top altcoins here. Reef, Hedera, RSR, UFO, and Ubix Network is an undervalued gem. It is a layer one project. Go and have a look. And yes, this is the, the incredible win for uh, Iremit and Tapjets. Basically, the judge has ordered them to uh, obviously, uh, you know, allow them to submit their briefs and obviously they have to comply with so-and-so laws and whatnot by October 14th. So uh, the SEC has been denied yet again. That is an incredible, you know, update from relation to the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit because basically these companies are using XRP as a currency. You know, you've got Iremit using it for cross-border payments on the my liquidity. Tapjets uses it for instant payments when booking a private jet, which I'm sure a lot of us will do in the eventually in the future. You know, once this case is over, XRP is going to, you know, quadruple in value. We know this for a fact. It's going to go parabolic. You will be booking private jets. We start off with business economy, goes business. Then obviously business, then it goes up to, uh, you know, first class. Then first class, it goes to, you know, a suite on an Emirates jet. Then from there, it goes to a private jet. That's just basically what happens. You start traveling private. You can take your dog if you want to. That's what I plan on doing. Anyway, let's go to CoinSpot quickly, guys. And I'm not going to go through everything uh, because it's pretty much, I just want to get through the news. But again, there is a link below for CoinSpot. Please feel free to use that. You will get $10 in Bitcoin. But Bitcoin's sitting at around $30,000. This is the bottom for me. This is all in Australian dollars. Everything else is set to USD. I repeat, Australian dollars, everything else is set to USD because I'm catering for everybody around the world and especially my Aussie fans. Ethereum is at $2,100 today. XRP is at $0.80 cents Australian dollars. Cardano is at $0.64 cents as well. Doge at $0.09. Cents. Maddox at $1.30. You've got Tron at $0.10. Cents. Shiba Inu is uh, slightly up today, which is nice. Lynx is $11. You've got XLM at $0.19. Cents. Near Protocols at $5. Algorand's at $0.52, cents, which is nice. Quant is still holding strong at $255. VChain at $0.03. Cents. You've got Hedera at $0.10. Cents. 
Eight coins down nearly 8%. Suck S-H-I-T, guys, because you are being investigated now. Ha ha. That was just bound to happen. Just ridiculous. Anyway, Mana's a dollar and seven. You've got a sandbox a dollar twenty-eight. Theta is a dollar sixty-eight as well. Axe Infinity's at nineteen dollars, remaining quite strong at that level. I am staking that earning passive income on CoinSpot. By the way, it's ridiculous. Iota's at forty-three cents. You've got the graph at fourteen cents as well. Neo is a layer one. Love the project is at thirteen dollars. Scrolling down some other favorites. Engine at seventy cents. XDC is down slightly, but still holding strong above $0.05, cents, which is nice. Casper as well at $0.05. Cents. Obviously, guys, in terms of my favorites, we've got Reef up 4% as well. It is almost at $0.01. Cent. I've been talking about this for a very long time. Again, I've definitely got a bag of that. XYO is at $0.01. Cent. Of course, we've got Alliance Block, ALBT, which was pumping the last few days, mind you, at $0.09, cents, all right? So... Let's go through the news. Obviously, we're going to go to Crypto Bubbles and check what's going on there. So let's go through that now. Let me just open this up, guys. And yes, we're going to get to all this bullish news right here. Sorry, I'm going to turn the phone like this. Guys, the Wall Street Bull University, go sign up below. Join the community. I'm building a very bullish community uh, of investors, and I love talking with everyone directly and posting up my trades, what I'm doing in my, you know, my whole journey with this space. Go check it out. Love talking with everyone in there. Links are below. Crypto bubbles, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go here on the day. We've got Hoibi token doing nicely as well. Pretty much, guys, I'm going to turn the phone like this. I do apologize. 24% on the day, 59% on the week, 38% on the month. That is insane. Obviously, we've got Hedera as well pumping today. Oh, sorry. I've clicked the wrong one. I do apologize about that. Hedera's up 8.7% on the day, 9.5% on the week. Uh, guys, Hedera is a no-brainer. That is going to be listed on Coinbase, mind you, as well. ApeCoin as well has completely crashed, uh, given the fact that there's an SEC you know, investigation now into Yuga Labs. Meh, guys, honestly, if you bought those stupid NFTs, good on you. You know, it's a, an absolute disaster waiting to happen. Anyway, XLM is still up 1.7% on the week. And of course, guys, when I like seeing these down, this is pretty much the perfect time when I like to buy. Now, obviously, you've got here, Ripple CEO predicts when the SEC lawsuit is likely to end, and there is a bullish interview. I will play you guys on Twitter as well, but basically, he's predicted this. All right, let me just scroll down here, guys. So, Garlinghouse has also said, Ripple could consider, consider a settlement with the SEC, but he has stressed that XRP has to be recognized as a non-security. The settlement opportunity has to start with the idea that XRP is now a security. However, since the SEC boss views the vast majority of crypto tokens as securities, it creates a conundrum and uh, for how to settle anything, guys. And again, this is going to be huge, all right? So it's going to be absolutely huge. You know, basically saying, so I do think it will be fully briefed in front of the judge by mid-November. Federal judges work at their own pace. It's very hard to predict, he said. Optimistically, the lawsuit will be resolved within the next three to four months. So guys, however, he doesn't rule out that it could take a little bit longer, of course. Federal judges tend to take longer time. Obviously, got some other bullish updates here, guys. Ripple signs up its first on-demand liquidity customers in France and Sweden. Incredibly bullish, guys. So Paris headquartered payment provider Lemonway which will use a Ripple's XRP-powered solution on-demand liquidity to enhance its treasury payments process. So guys, Lemonway is a pan-European payment institution dedicated to marketplaces, alternative finance platforms, and other companies looking for payment processing wallet, wallet management and third-party payment in KYC and AML regulated framework. Very, very bullish right there, guys. Obviously, the other partner here, guys, I'm sorry about these pop-ups, is X, uh, X Bahat right here. I can't even pronounce that. Which specializes in payments in Sweden and Thailand. X Bart, sorry, Thai Bart makes sense. Uh, the partnership will allow X Bart to provide instant cost-effective retail remittances via on-demand liquidity supported by Tranglo, the cross-border payment hub based in Singapore. X Bart. Now, guys, Novadi Group goes live with the Australian stablecoin on XRP Ledger in November on the 1st. Um, again, ISO 222 is going live with Swift in November this year. I know a lot of people are commenting saying that, no, it's not going live. It sure is. Google to allow crypto payments with new Coinbase deal. This is incredibly bullish. So Google and Coinbase have signed a deal which will see Google accept cryptocurrency for some of its cloud computing clients. 
It's a move which will uh, obviously allow Google to go after cutting edge crypto and Web3 companies who want to use digital currencies as their payment method. Coinbase will receive a percentage of these payments, of course they will, and it will allow them to continue to diversify away from revenue based on trading volume, which is cool, I guess. Obviously got here, guys, BNY Mellon to offer Bitcoin services to wealthy clients. I mean, we're before wealthy clients. That just That's just awesome, in my opinion. We're before BNY Mellon and all these institutions. That's why I love crypto. Once they get involved into this space, guys, you will never see the prices like you're seeing now, and it's going to be full on with regulations. We know this. Anyway, Binance to invest $500 million into, obviously, in me, Elon Musk right here to buy our Twitter Obviously, guys, Chang Peng Zhao, obviously CZ, is diversifying his investments. He's allocating more than $1 billion to acquisitions and investments in 2022. Binance's top project is in the field of providing $500 million in financing for Elon Musk's planned takeover of the social media platform, Twitter, which is incredible because basically what that says to me is that CZ is going to be launching crypto on Twitter we know this. Now, if I go to CryptoMeter.io, let me refresh this right now and see where the money's been flowing. BNB, HBAR, XMR, Monero, Ethereum, Reef, again, Bitcoin, very standard stuff right here, Algorand, and we do not have XRP there today, but I'm not too worried about that. Now, guys, let's go to Twitter and check what's going on here, and let me just go to my Twitter page. I do apologize about this. And I'm going to play you the interview with Brad Garlinghouse. It's not going to go for very much, you know, long. I just want to play it, though, because I think it's incredibly bullish and important. Where is video one right here, guys? Let's have a uh, quick We have a limit here, so I'll go ahead and just get us started. Um, so, you know, I think we'll start with an update on where Ripple is with its lawsuit with the SEC, that little known uh, lawsuit. <laughs> Um, so for anyone who, who hasn't been following the case, uh, the SEC sued Ripple in 2020 for allegedly raising money by selling its XRP token, which the agency said had to be, uh, should have been registered as a security. Um, you recently won access to some documents you were seeking. Both sides have also asked for summary judgment. Um, so maybe give us a uh, kind of an update. The state of the state. The state of the state. Where do right. things stand and, uh, what's the significance of where we're at? Well, it's great to be here. Uh, it has certainly uh, been a busy couple of years. Uh, as you said, the SEC first filed a lawsuit against Ripple and actually myself and Chris Larson in December of 2020. So it's been almost two years. And, it, you know, look, I think at the beginning of this, we actually made the, the public statement that, like, this isn't just about Ripple. This is really about the whole industry. And I think at the time in December 2020, people were like, no, 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 it's not about the whole industry. You know, today I think everyone acknowledges how important this is for, for the U.S. and the U.S. leadership around crypto. This is obviously, I, I think it, everyone would agree now, a pretty bellwether case. The, where the case stands now is both sides, both sides, uh, the SEC and Ripple, have filed motions for summary judgment, which basically means, hey, we don't think we need a trial. This isn't a question about the facts, it's a question about the law. We think the law is very clear. Uh, and you know that the, the judge those will be fully now over the last 18 months has ordered the SEC to turn over the notes associated with that speech six times. So the, the recent uh, discovery ruling that went our way is just the sixth time. And the only reason I mention that is because you know the, the SEC obviously celebrates disclosure. It celebrates transparency. Like why can't we do the work as a the SEC and as a federal government to actually define? and provide clear rules of the road. And if we had those, I think everyone would actually, you know, the industry in the U.S. could, could thrive, you know, much more easily than uh, what we're dealing with now. So, and... Basically, he's saying, what are they hiding? And I agree. Uh, what else we got here, guys? We've got Charles Hoskinson's rants, and I said, we are a pack of wild lions, and he's going on there basically having a go at the XRP army. Anyway, obviously, the fear and greed index is sitting at 20 right now. Bullish as anything, guys. You've got Santander, CME, Vanguard, SBI Group, uh, BNY Mellon, of course, Bank of America, Air American Express, Accenture, BlackRock, MoneyGram, HSBC, PNC Bank. Guys, that's all Ripple right there. And Judge Torres has now approved three third parties to join the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. The digital chamber remains neutral but stresses the importance of the court decision for the industry. 
Guys, it's Alan and Tarot right there, guys. Now, obviously, Coin Bureau, love your channel, mate. The fact that the SEC is going after the company that issued monkey NFTs instead of insiders in government, Wall Street gives you everything you need to know. That's absolute facts. Google and Coinbase partnering up together. That's bullish. You've got Grayscale now saying that we filed an opening brief in our lawsuit against the SEC, challenging their decision to deny the application to convert GBTC to a spot Bitcoin ETF. They're not going to do that because they're a bunch of goons. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, let's go straight to Coin Market Cap. Nine hundred and twenty billion dollars in volume, forty-eight billion dollars in the last twenty-four hours. Thirty-nine percent BTC, seventeen percent Ethereum. Two thousand, oh, sorry, twenty-one thousand two hundred eighty-three cryptocurrencies. Guys, this is where my money is going. Obviously, Ethereum, I do hold a thousand dollars of that. I'm not going to lie. XRP, Cardano. Link is is working with Swift. We know this, guys. XLM, Algorand, Quant, Hedera, Iota. XDC, Casper, and Alliance Block. That is where my money is going. That's straight up facts. And the reason being, guys, because the banking sector, it's going to be changed by these companies that are working with governments and institutions. That's where my money is going. I'm following the money. That's it for today's video, guys. And yes, I do apologize about the awkwardness on the side. I hope that uh, you know, it wasn't too bad for you. But I'll be back in the office tomorrow. I just needed a day off to relax, all right? Stay safe, everyone. We'll speak to you soon. Peace out. Bye.